Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, Source Light Creators of the New Golden Age Paradigm. Happy Valentine's to all our lovebirds out there from the Eagle and the Condor. Whether you are in sacred union with your divine counterpart or experiencing an internal union which is being projected in unity consciousness externally, have a most beautiful and blessed day and eternity in unconditional love and bless awareness. We continue to hold the Heros Gamos codes for Gaia and all her children of the sun in these breakthrough energies of the event of the ages. We are the event. We are the ones the world has been waiting for, and we are fully activated and rising in the power and glory of the Holy Spirit and Divine Covenant. On this portal day encoded as the 144, we had another big blast of light from Solaris today with another M1 class flare projected to Pachamama and all our ground surface crew of the 144. These waves of the next phase and cycle of our ascension process are up-leveling and upgrading our physical, emotional, and spiritual bodies for the ultimate quantum leap of collective consciousness into the new Lemuria, pure land of paradise on earth. Day by day in every way we are bridging all timelines, worlds, and dimensions through our sacred heart centers to manifest the highest trajectory of eternal bliss consciousness. With the power of our infinite potential, we activate our original divine DNA blueprints for this final omega point to bring into fruition our true heart's desire of peace, prosperity, abundance, and joy for all sentient beings of light forevermore. Aho! Welcome, beloved beings of light. I am Paul White Gold Eagle from PrimeDisclosure.com. We have many powerful transmissions again for you today from our sacred New Earth scribes. So be sure to stick around to the very end. And please do us a favor, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment below on what you're feeling, experiencing in these intense times. And please share this video with your teams and tribes all over this realm. A quick message for one of you out there coming through spirit. The right back leg of the unicorn fell off and the glass ceiling has shattered. That's going to mean something to one of you. You can also share that in the comments, the activation you just received. And now real quick for this sacred Valentine's Day of Divine Union and Harmony, we're going to transmit a very powerful ancient Chinese proverb to you, which is very important through these powerful times we're living. There will never be peace in the world until there is peace in every nation. There will not be peace in the nations until there is peace in every city. There will never be peace in every city until there is peace in every home. And there will never be peace in every home until there is peace in every heart. And this parable here shows you how powerful you are as an individual and how you affect the collective, the whole field of consciousness with every thought, action, feeling, words. This is why we start with our self, our self-awareness, our self-realization, finding the peace within for it mirrors externally. We find peace in the kingdom of heaven within the still center and then bring that peace to our family, our children, our beloved counterparts, our homes, then to our tribes, our nations, and the world, as one united consciousness under God, with peace and prosperity for all. 414 coming in, the separation duality paradigm is ending as the old false matrix collapses, what rises is the new earth, heaven on earth. This is symbolic of 5D into the 3D, merging the two worlds, the physical, the non-physical, emptiness, form, love, and truth. For these concepts are all intrinsically linked. One cannot exist without the other. And beloveds, we are all in this together. 444 four, four, flowing in 
Now with all these intense energies coming in, we had many activations all over this realm with 141 M1.5 or greater earthquakes in the last 24 hours. The most powerful in the sacred portal with a 5.7 in Svalbard and Yen Mayan. This is part of Norway. In between Greenland and Norway, we had multiple activations in this portal today. In the sacred portal in our beloved Africa, in Uganda, in a place actually called Fort Portal. This is at the border of Uganda in the Democratic Republic of the Congo between Lake Edward and Lake Albert. In the Mitumbar Mountains, Alaska Peninsula in the Crown, we had multiple activations, 3-2, 3-4, 3-6, 3-3. The Bay of Plenty, symbol of abundance, New Zealand, 4.2. Baja, California, Mexico, we had two, three, zero, three, three, thirty, three, divine mastery. And the sacred portal, Central America, El Salvador, home of our Mayan elders, we had a 4.3. Puerto Rico, 3.1. Fox Island, Aleutian Islands, another crown activation, 3.8, 11, gateway. In the heart of Lemuria, Hawaiian Ocean View, Hawaii, 3.8, another 11 portal. Indonesia, 4.4, 4, Divine Vorty, 4. In the sacred portal, Kazakhstan. This is in our beloved mountains of Tian Shan, Celestial Mountain. We had a 4.5, Council of Nine coming in. Kagoshima, Japan, 4.7. Then the most powerful of the day, 5.7, Svalbard and Yan Mayan at 2028 UTC, 70.732 latitude, 73 into the 37 heaven on earth, 14.362 longitude. Then another activation in the same portal with a 4.3 and a 4.7 Trinity activation. Many swarms after that. Alaska Peninsula in the crown, another 3811. South of Alaska, 32. South Pacific Ocean, another 44 activation. 595 kilometer depth, very deep. Gardendale, Texas, 32. And then the most recent, a powerful 4.9, 13 Divine Goddess in the Arafura Sea. This is north of Australia, in between Australia and Papua New Guinea. About 8 degrees south of the equator, middle down Tien of Pachamama. The whole grid activated, lit up the dragon lines flowing with heavenly chi. Cultivating and refining the energies every day, preparing for the great shift. Now let us continue with the Sabian symbols. You can't make this shift up. Check this out. The moon is at 8 degrees, 28 minutes Leo. 8-8 eight, eight portal with the two in the center, the twin flames, the yin-yang, the heros gamos, eagle condor, and between the 8-8 eight, eight portal of the lion's gate, the Lyra nation of New Lemuria, one of our most sacred ancestries, lineages, families of light. And as we record this at 8.38 p.m. PST, the trinity in the center of the lion's gate, and the moon is in Leo in this moment and the full moon in two days on the 16th will be in Leo. And the sun is at 26 degrees, 26 minutes Aquarius. As the lion leads us into the age of Aquarius, another 8-8 eight, eight portal, 26-26, Lion's Gate. More of the Lyra nation coming through the water bearer. It's this new golden age. The current Sabian symbol for the sun at 27 degrees Aquarius. An ancient pottery bowl filled with fresh violets. And the current Sabian symbol for the moon at 9 degrees Leo. A communist activist spreading his revolutionary ideals. From astrologyweekly.com And now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the oracle deck Moonology from Yasmin Bolin. And the card she pulled for you today, Mutable Moon. Nothing is yet set in stone. Mutable is all about change, shape-shifting even, that something is still developing. This card indicates that something is indeed changing, and there's room for maneuver. So take it as a sign that the situation you're asking about is far from finalized. If you're not happy with the current state of play, that's marvelous. It means you can still change the course of the outcome. 
However, there is also a sense that the situation could perhaps be a little unstable. For some, this is great news because you can still influence it. Others will struggle with the uncertainty, but should stay with it a little longer. Either way, nothing is set in stone yet. Attune to the moon. I know that the best will unfold for me. Additional meanings for this card. You're meandering towards your goal, and that's okay. Staying adaptable is the key to success for you now. Make sure you're not being led astray. Have you become distracted? Time to focus. Stay with it, whatever it means to you. The teaching. In astrology, there are three so-called quadruplicities, cardinal, fixed, and mutable. The mutable signs are Gemini, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Pisces. And when the moon is one of these signs, you know there's going to be more flexibility in a situation. Anytime you pull this card, it suggests there's the opportunity to keep visualizing and affirming what you want as there's still room for change. So think about what you want and enjoy the daydream. And now from Divine Sister of the Light Maria, Bethancourt. Gigantic shift in global consciousness occurring now. Massive. Purge of dark consciousness timelines in progress. Pray for all. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Emmanuel, prize. I hope you are well and that you are able to navigate the wave of vibrational intensity we are experiencing. This acceleration will be extended until February 22nd. Gaia's energy lines are active, reflecting our own cellular transformation. It's magic. Everything moves. Light vortexes are active all over Gaia, and we are the pillars that maintain this frequency and matter. Continue to stay focused and vibrate the frequency of love. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Nikul Mekindo, we are never dying again, not in the sense we know it. Even if transitioning in the physical, as the cycle of reincarnation is broken here on earth, we are immortal, powerful creator beings of light. Release all fear around death or dying. We ascend in the physical body and will choose, without manipulation, our next incarnation within anywhere in the universe. All souls trapped within crystal boxes on the moon have been freed and are back with their galactic families. We are love and we are one. Peace. And from Divine Sistar of the Light Linda Zimmerman, May the wealth of abundance spread in all ways of your mind, body, and soul for the entire world. Ask and receive. It will be given. Raise your energy level to meet the emotion, for how it will make you feel as if you already have what you want. Feel excited, joyful, and happy. When you keep your focus on what it is you want, you will attract it. This is the spiritual law of attraction. You attract what you think about. If it is going to be, it is up to me. So embrace high energy in your thoughts, behaviors, and maintain integrity in your heart. Believe, it is like a faucet that never stops. You will receive your abundance from the universe. Go in peace, with love and compassion, in your heart for your brothers and sisters of the world. We are one. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, David Alexander Lightfoot, Energy Update, Resistance energies might influence your well-being and trigger you, more loving support coming. Many like me have been feeling the projection of dark energies these last two days trying to distract us. Be aware if you might feel this in your body or mentally by having body pains, negative thoughts, and picking up that other people are sending this to you. A dear friend of mine who knows also told me some cities were under attack last night. We are being freed now. We need to be aware we are multidimensional beings and are grounding the fifth dimensional energies into the 3D realm. That does not mean 3D lower vibrational beings will just surrender without a fight, even though they know they are already lost and are being exposed more and more. They do not like positive change and evolution and project their negativity onto us. They try to steal your dreams, your hopes, love and light. Do not let them. It is good we continue to let go of all old identities, circumstances, and even people who aren't reflecting our light so they cannot enter our bodies and minds using shadow energies like fear against us. It's important to stay positive and do not fight this or take it personal. You are love, you are light, and you are not alone. 
We, especially the empaths, are now transmuting all into love simply by being love and connecting, grounding with nature. Again, an opportunity to see if you can stay in harmony and balanced in love, to be able to hold the 5D world you stepped into. A good test to see if you still hang on to the past with low vibrational contractile energies and old hurt, fear, and suffering, or if you have let go of the old, open up to the higher dimensional realms more, and create space for more light and love to come in. We are receiving so much support and love and light we do not have to worry, but it might help to have some insight of what you feel or if you start having negative thoughts to live happier and healthier lives with more ease as possible when we choose self-love and expansion. Do not doubt yourself. Stay heart-centered. This will pass fast. You are safe. Especially with Valentine's Day coming up and new love portals opening. Keep faith. Choose love. Stay positive. Change is coming. Much love and blessings, David Alexander Lightfoot. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Ramona Lappin. M-Class Solar Flare in Progress. Lower artificial realities quantum collapse and dissolve as we activate all new from within. Keep lighting it up as our inner and Gaia's grids fully awaken and ignite. Keep holding. Be the frequency of the realities you wish to experience. Hold the vision. Hold the zero point field from where all new worlds birth forth from now. Nothing to fight or hold on to, just be the change you want to see. All shifts from here. Feel and be the tsunami wave of divine love that heals all now. Feel it filling up every atom, every cell, every particle and wave of you and all of creation throughout space and time now. Be the frequency of the divine love that changes all as it washes away any remaining illusions, veils, false perceptions and projections, as it quantum collapses and dissolves all lower and false timelines and realities now, as our eyes, hearts and minds open wide, divine love now transcends all time, space, gravity and laws of the universe, beyond words, beyond form, we now transcend all remaining illusions of separation as one, because love one, Eternal love, always, Ramona. And from Divine Brother of the Light, Rick Jewers. Many of the Divine Feminine, which are heavenly bodies, are shaking and vibrating at this time. Heat also accompanies this significant time for the Divine Feminine and all. As forty stars fall from the skies, so do the heavenly bodies shake. Many Divine Feminine, as well as some Divine Masculine, have accessed more of the sixth dimensional state while still in the fourth dimension biologically. This is creating the desired lift through the dimensional layers for the entire physical vessel of Gaia, Terra herself. The lower dimensional consciousness has no choice as but to rise as the lift cannot be stopped. The celestial bodies in this dimension and the higher dimensions are working in conjunction with this lift, which is also why many feminine cycles are being synchronized to the 28-day cycle of the moon. As mentioned a few days ago in an update, a period of density would be felt by most and to not disturb that density of its divine intents and purpose. You are almost through that density and are instructed to begin to anchor in more of the white light again as it is emanating from the sun through the prominences, ejection, and flare activity. The magnetic filaments released are to be anchored for the most part by the Divine Masculine, as the Divine Feminine continues with the lifting. Know that all is going very well and you are within the launch. The chains begin to fall at a more noticeably and rapid pace. Love and Light, Rick. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Natalia Alba. Beloved ones, in a month where we are given the tools to heal duality, so only unity and love reign again. We welcome a very powerful full moon on February 16th through 17th at 28 degrees Leo, a moon that also comes with healing energies for us to continue our inner work of synthesis by working with our heart centers, as Leo suggests. For every time we desire to go further in this endless evolutionary journey, we need to stop for a while, heal the heart and its many open wounds and regain the strength that lies within it. This is a passage, one of the most intense ones of this year, for the triumph of love and unity. 
we have the opportunity to balance both aspects of who we are, the individualized one, incarnated on a human plane, that needs to grow and expand within its own personal mission, and the aspect of us that is one with all, bringing unity, unconditional love and assistance. However, Leo is also about determination, courage, and integrity, as without this one, we will not have the will to pursue our dreams and mission of assistance. This passage is also going to help us balance heart-brain and all the opposites that make us go to extremes. The 2222 portal whose peak will be on 22222 is the other important event that will accompany us during the rest of the month, and that as guide share brings sixth and seventh dimensional frequencies to help us align with who we are in essence. Energies of unity, angelic ones to help us awaken the codes to spread our wings again and work on our shoulder portals opening. It is precisely with Leo that we clear the false angelic implants that were once implanted upon us, spreading our divine wings again and using our confidence, trust, and unique self-expression to build something that is now empowered, healthier, and faithful to who we truly are in essence. At a personal level, Leo rules the heart, thymus, and throat. This is the most important center for Leo, as it is by expressing our heart, emotions, and personal truth that we regain sovereignty and full charge of our lives. It is an opportunity for those who need to heal and clear their expressive body portals, as it is pivotal that we are firm in who we are and our personal truth. Astrologically speaking, we have the Sun and Aquarius opposite the Moon in Leo, while Aquarius invites us to focus on creating a community on Earth, working in groups for the betterment of the planet, Leo is more centered in the self, in leadership, and in your own personal identity, standing tall in who you are and in the truth of your heart. Leo is about one's needs, whereas Aquarius is more focused on the whole. Both are perfectly achievable for us as ascending souls, as our personal and global mission goes together. As once we awaken to our mission and who we are, we no longer separate, and all we do is part of our mission of assistance as well. The Leo moon is also highly influenced by the conjunction between Venus and Mars and Capricorn, Trine Uranus, another pair of opposites that reunites in our heavens harmonically, helping us to do the same in our micro-reality. This is an opportunity for us to connect further with our spiritual community, with the people that we also chose before coming into this human experience and co-creating together for a higher purpose. The most important event surrounding this moon is the fixed square in our heavens, as all our fixed signs involving the sun in Aquarius, the moon in Leo, which is square to the nodes, already since January 18th in Taurus and Scorpio. This is again an inner battle between opposites. As for those who are deeply polarized, they will notice more how they are debating themselves between extremes. For the ones who are already walking in this conscious path of evolution, the square is going to help them express their hearts, rather than keeping things inside, beginning to break free from their own limitations, moving forward with integrity and determination. We are in a key passage for us to expand into our personal healing journey, especially the one that we all share in common, and that involves the synthesis of opposite poles. This is the first and most important step towards self-liberation and sovereignty, so we can embody our soul's unique purpose and manifest our soul's potential. Guides invite us to go further with our desire to create our new reality as we wish, as life is for us to choose what we wish to experience and with whom. This is a time of profound restoration and purification, as it is the only way to fully open ourselves to receive in new and wider ways. However, it is also a period of greater creativity and a higher connection with the illumined realms. To do so, purifying ourselves from lower thoughts, energies, and all we wish to release is vital. Guides invite us to work the violet flame as a wonderful and universal tool for us to clean our physical and subtle bodies from previous energies and begin the process of realignment with the new earth's energies that are being descended to us at this powerful time. 
Another tool to heal the heart, remain centered on it and expand its loving and compassionate energy. Guides invite us to work with a wonderful crystal, a Vivianite, at a time when we are working with the healing duality and the many opposite and often hurtful and judgmental feelings that comes with it. Guides offer us a crystal to help us release those lower energies and feelings and concentrate only on the love that we are. This crystal is a powerful and protective one that helps us liberate our heart center from anger, fear, regrets, hurtful feelings, and everything that we need to embrace and let go of at this time so our hearts remain fully open to forgive and receive again. It is going to assist us in remaining balanced and especially in retrieving the strength and courage that lies in our hearts, for it is with this inner force that we all possess within that we can overcome any obstacle restoring our life force and embracing our vulnerability, delicacy, and empathy as a divine gift of strength and tenacity, rather than as something that makes us weak. I wish you all a wonderful 2222 as this portal will still accompany us until the end of the month and Leo Moon, beloved ones. May you all choose to remain in your loving hearts with infinite love. Natalia from StarseedSoul.com and from Divine Sistar of the Light, Carolyn, 144 God Code. You're being released from the games the devil played with your heart. The full moon is bringing to the surface the emotional blocks that have been holding you back. These lessons are already completed with success. Now you're receiving a push of confidence to move you ahead. The third eye chakra is purifying, helping you intuitively understand the types of people you've been attracted to and why. This is completely freeing you from attachments to them, bringing independence and expansion. Focusing on your spirituality will support this time of breaking free of your time and energy from them and reconnecting back up to Source 555, redirecting your thinking to envisioning the life you desire and praying for it with the Most High will also be beneficial. This is to assist in recalibration of the mind and heart to be open to meeting new, renewed love. There are cosmic frequencies upgrading you into more of a light being. Rest is needed to receive this clearing and upgrade. You will recover into the new you that is fun, loving, charming, and attracting like-minded connections. You are leaving all thoughts of judgment and inadequacy behind and are encouraged to start this transformation into a fresh new start. In Jesus Christos name, Amen. God bless you, Carolyn Kundalini Twin Flames. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Leah Whitehorse. Pallas enters Aries. Mercury enters Aquarius. Pluto and Capricorn try North Node and Taurus. After almost a year in watery Pisces, the goddess of wisdom and war moves into fiery Aries. The way we approach problems shifts from passive and intuitive to assertive and proactive. Now is the time to tackle conflicts and troubles head on. Pallas offers fast solutions, thinks on her feet, follows her impulses. Pluto helps, smashing outworn structures in Capricorn, regenerating systems. The deeper we are willing to go, the more potent our transformation, the more empowered we feel. Mercury's entry into Aquarius may find us recalling ideas and conversations from the beginning of this year. Mercury already traveled these degrees before turning retrograde. Now though we have a much better foundation to build upon, a clearer vision of the future, a better understanding of what has been slowing us down, let your mind run free, think outside of the box, break the pattern, it's time to get unstuck. From LeahWhitehorse.com and from 13 moon peace time, in the 52 week journey through the 52 heptad paths of the Hunab Ku, 21 galactic tree of life and knowledge, the following heptad paths are activated for the galactic moon. Red week 1, initiate, heptad 29, Hunab Ku transmits navigation, Dali 1, Celio 7, February 7 through 13. White Week 2, Refine, Heptad 30, Hunab Ku transmits meditation, Dali 8, Celio 14, February 14th through the 20th. Blue Week 3, Transform, Heptad 31, Hunab Ku transmits self-generation, Dali 15, Celio 21, 
February 21st through the 27th, Yellow Week 4, Ripen, Heptad 32, Hunabku transmits enlightenment, Dali 22 through Cilio 28, February 28th through March 6th. In the galactic superstructure, the Hunabku 21, the four heptads of the galactic moon taken as a whole, are the place and time where the core matrix Hunabku resides. Hunabku means one giver of movement and measure, and signifies, among many other things, the core of the galaxy. These four heptad paths appear in the galactic moon as yet another illustration of the synchronizing power of the 13 moon calendar. We have been on a cosmic journey all of our lifetimes, and it won't stop when history comes to an end. History may end, but the journey will continue. The time after history will begin a new stage of the journey. This journey will take us through the reaches of inner time into the galactic future. We will each be a single voice of unity in a collective mind, the Noosphere. Noosphere is the mind space of inner time that stretches infinitely into the galactic future. In the Noosphere, we will be a cosmic total inspired by the Hunabku. Hunabku is the soul of galactic culture. Hunabku, one giver of movement and measure, is the reality of unification, the cosmic unity of all spiritual life everywhere. Hunabku is the one who commands the journey and the one who takes the journey. Hunabku is the many become the one and the one become the many. Hunabku is the prophesied order of reality to supersede history. We are all Hunabku. We are the journey that takes us through the 21 archetypes of the transmigration of the soul. Dali 8 of the Galactic Hawk Moon of Integrity. Seven Moral Categories of Enlightened Behavior. Everything is by the power of seven. The seven moral categories of enlightened behavior are the seven categories of behavior of being a bodhisattva. The bodhisattva is one who totally dedicates his or her life to the enlightenment of all beings. The daily practice according to the day of the week is for the purpose of shedding the self-importance of ego and disciplining the mind. 28 Meditations on the Law of Time The seven moral categories of ten precepts each are divided into four sets. Set 1. Dali, Seli, Gamma 1. Awakening and Cultivating Bodhi, the seed of enlightenment present in all beings. Dali 1. The Ten Abodes, for clear seeing of the working basis of bodhisattvic behavior. Master Synchronic Code Book we will go into Seli and Gamma tomorrow and the day after. Cosmic History Quote for Moon 8, Day 8, Another 8-8 eight, eight Portal, Lionsgate. Through the galactic beam transmission, all thoughts of everyone are personally connected to and stored on diskettes. These information pools form the foundation of the chromocellular archives. From 13moonpeacetime.com Today from the Zolkin Times, Keen 167, Blue Spectral Hand. Spectral is the name for the number 11, and its keywords are dissolve, release, and liberate. We are on the 11th day of the Red Earth Wave Spell, which is the challenge of Blue Hand. In a sense, we are liberated from that agenda, and so we get a break from this 13-day journey. Today is a great day to release anything that is holding you back. You will feel lighter if you do. Today is Blue Hand, which represents healing, inner knowing, and accomplishment. Blue Hand days are great for putting your hands to good use, for accomplishing things with your hands, and for making agreements, shaking hands. As it is a spectral day, we can be liberated by healing. So if you need a hand, don't be afraid to ask. The guy today is also Blue Hand, and so a double healing day. And from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio. Blue Spectral Hand, 11, Manique, Keen 167, 14th of February, 2022, Liberating Healing, Happy Valentine's Day, 14-2, 2022, equal 1444, equal 526, equal 58, equal 13, equal 4, Day Codes, 14, Media, Publicity, Recognition, 5, Change, Transformation, Movement, Freedom, 13. Cosmic Consciousness, Goddess, Natural Lore. 4. Earth, Form, Structure, Foundation, Angelic. Month Year Codes. 
Two, twins, partners, cooperation, alliances. Six, heaven, Christ, family, romance, fertility. Eight, infinite, abundant source flow. Twenty, the awakening, clear vision. Twenty-two, architect of peace, master builder. Keen one, six, seven, equal fourteen, equal five, liberation. An extraordinary code for manifesting great healing through total spiritual transformation and liberation. Day 11 in the Red Earth Wave Spell of Evolution through navigating our way through the signs, synchronicity, and earth magic, flowing and aligning with the rhythms and cycles of Nova Gaia. Today is a day of release, releasing all energies built up over the last 10 days and manifested yesterday. Today we are seeking to release healing in order to accomplish liberation from what was blocked and limiting us from moving forward. Tone of creation, spectral is the eleventh tone of creation. It operates in the emotional realm and its actions are that of dissolving, releasing, and liberating. So today is all about emotional release. Allow that energy in motion, emotion, to be expressed and dissolved. Allow the tears, the laughter, the joy to be expressed. No holding back. Connect with your higher wisdom giving you the intelligence to carve a new path of liberation. This is a very powerful opportunity to release core wounding of old ancient ancestral patterns and cycles, choosing to release and liberate all that no longer serves our well-being. Keen 167 serves a great purpose here, so use this energy to fuel your revolutionary liberation. These are very powerful energies at work to create final closure, dissolving all impediments to you finally claiming your true sovereignty. Tone 11 symbolizes a gateway in polarity, inviting you to step through into a new, more divine reality in your perfected, golden, Christed body. Let us intend to select the best course today for global healing, the path of pure, divine, unconditional, and endless love. May love and light and power restore our planet Earth. Today's question is what this ease and outmoded patterns can I fully dissolve today through the power of love? to finally accomplish greater healing for my whole being, body, mind, and spirit, and Pachamama. Divine blessings for accomplishing tremendous results in your return to love and wholeness today. The past is forever gone. Viva la love revolution. In la catch a la keen. Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 167, Blue Spectral Hand. The mantra, the code for today is, I dissolve in order to know, releasing healing, I seal the store of accomplishment. With the spectral tone of liberation, I am guided by the power of my own power doubled. And on this powerful day of activations and transformations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're feeling, what you're experiencing, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone supporting us in our work and mission. It's because of your monthly pledges and donations we're able to continue this work. So if you'd like to vote for us to continue bringing these transmissions and teachings to the world, you can make a monthly pledge at our link at whitegoldeagle.com. I'd like to thank Divine Angels of the Light at Mind Body Medicine Therapy for another donation. Thank you very much. We appreciate you and your support. If you'd like to support us with a one-time donation, you could do so to our PayPal account at eaglelovecondor.com. Now I'd like to also thank everyone supporting my Sacred Condors artwork. You can purchase her beautiful Zodiac Goddesses, Goddess Totems, and Healing Jewelry at LunaGoddessArt.com. Now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful codes from the Dzolkin. Galactic Archetype, Spectral House of the Avatar, First Heptad. The primordial force opens the door of the throne, enter the avatar, realizer of knowledge, guided by the avatar, maker of knowledge, supported by the wise, the governor, the prudent judge, 
challenged, empowered by the navigator, keeper of the synchronic codes, Synchronitron, and he receives the hidden help of the wizard, the giver of magical names. I am the avatar, coded by blue hand, by the power of seven. Move me through your world, descending from the cosmic heights of the seven skies. I hold the keys for seven days of creation. I am the director, the shape maker. I am the builder of the worlds to come. In the interdimensional architecture, I prepare the path of knowledge for you to remember, knowing, healing, and performing. I also write these words for you to understand through all your actions, for I am the keeper of the covenant that links all knowledge to the healing of the soul of the world. The code is in my being, a riddle wrapped in mystery, dropping off some divine clues who I run into. My mission is to exemplify what others don't know yet. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed day and all days of divine union, connection, divine inspiration, passion, resurrection, and ascension. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart, with peace and love in every step. Keep shining your light brightly into the night, and be sure to make this the best day ever. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.